If you guys clicked on this video, make sure you guys are 18 and up or a cannabis patient. These videos are made for an educational purpose. We do not condone the usage of these products and we do not sell anything on this channel as well. In the cut, welcome back everybody to a brand new video today. Yet again, we got actually a brand new brand that I've actually came across on Ease before. And I've actually, you know, I've been wanting to review it for actually some time now. Again, everybody, this is an 18 and up educational purpose podcast. It's a review. I don't condone the usage of these products, nor I do not try to boost the sale of these products. And also, we do not sell anything on this channel. And again, everything here is legal. All for 18 and up at Cannabis Patients. You guys already know what's good. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we got a brand new brand to uh, review. It's the Old Pal brand. It's, I'm not promoting this product or anything like that. This is just literally just a review. I actually got this full gram, $35. Crazy, huh? We got some sativa. Check this out right here, look. This is actually some an old pal. This is actually from 510, which I believe is Oakland. I think this is actually a local. You know, I think this company is actually in the Bay. Peep that out. And this is actually the Cosmic Sativa flavor. It's a full sativa. You know, it has about 80% THC, which is actually pretty fucking good. Again, everybody, this is a $35 gram. Believe it or not, I actually bought this in freaking off, off Ease. And you guys already know, man. Ease, sometimes we kind of tax it. Check the shirt out. Ooh, quick little test. I wanna show you guys that this shit is, look at that, stuck. <laughs> For sure ain't no hot dog water. First hit, I'm not gonna lie you guys, every time I take the first hit of this uh, cartridge, Woo, I get lit man. I feel this shit. It's a sativa. So usually before my morning my morning job, you know I wake up take a couple puffs and I go go over to my morning job and shit, you know, and um, <coughs> I'm not gonna lie one or two puffs literally just leaves me baked like I can already feel it right now. I haven't even smoked today. Today, I literally just skipped earlier. Today, I didn't really smoke just because I want to make sure I do these reviews with starting uh, with sober. But yeah, look, one thing I really do like about this product, again, I bought this off Ease. Actually, I got two, two grams for the total price of $70. That includes taxes and delivery so i'm just like dude if this was a 35 dollars full gram imagine if you actually go to like the legit old pal warehouse or wherever they're actually selling these and you buy you buy some stuff so i don't think i've ever seen these you know in the club but sometimes i'm like hmm that's very interesting it's a classic shareable cannabis oil cartridge this is shareable and it definitely is shareable because for the price and again a lot of people are gonna say oh it's fake it's this and that no this is not fake this is i legit got this from the ease service and they're for sure they're approved they're completely legal and it's not no neighborhood plug this ain't no neighborhood plug shit so it's crazy if a neighborhood plug shit is trying to sell you a fucking full gram for like 30 30 like 30 dollars dude that shit's fake as fuck i've smoked them before we actually reviewed a fake cartridge too the super lemon haze one of my boys got it's a cool little fake cartridge or whatever and um he got it for like <laughs> pretty expensive but usually if you guys get this from like a, a delivery service but it has to be legit though because i feel like some there are a couple like delivery services that are just not legit it's a lot of homemade shit that could might not be healthy for you but please look i don't know if this is true or not i heard this from a friend <coughs> whoa <coughs> that's like a late punch tastes really good too um but i've heard that smoking like i guess fake cartridges or i, I don't even know if he even talked about but i'm pretty sure it's fake cartridges i guess there was like a youtuber like a weed youtuber some guy that made videos dude i'm pretty sure i, I don't know where the hell he heard this from or i don't know where it came from or i don't i, I just don't I, I don't know but I, I believe him though obviously you know because it could have been fake carts but i guess like someone passed away from like smoking cartridges and i'm like dude i'm pretty sure it, it's not gonna be no fucking cannabis you know like legal cartridges had to be some like fake shit you know so i do know someone that bought like four cartridges for like the fucking low and they were fake as fuck dude like they were straight up hot dog water personally me i know a lot of people that actually do like the old pal they like it because one so i know fake shit you know proof it's proven right here look at that 
that, that shit go. It even has a little little sticker. We are in California, completely legal. Dude, and this shit gets you fucking blasted. I've only took like what, like three, four rips, and I'm already lit as fuck. Man, but I really do, I, honestly, everybody, I appreciate everybody that are clicked. Everyone that's clicking on these videos, man, I appreciate you guys so much, man. Because if you guys don't know, I do have a main channel. And I used to vlog and, like, do pranks and all that shit. Back days ago, days ago, I used to do, like, gaming videos. But that channel was just so mixed up with so much fucking content. Random content that <laughs> it got to the point where, like, I took a break and it just, like, died. It fell off. I'm going to try to revive it. I've been trying for a while now, you know. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to move on to something a little bit more different, something a little bit, you know, like an educational type video, if that makes sense. So, yeah. But if you guys want to go check that shit out, go down on my description. It's my main channel, 120k subs, you know. And I actually reached 120k subs, like, well, back, like, three, oh, fuck, it's going to be almost four years ago. Back in, like, 2016. Could have been, like, at a million right now. Fucked up, but, hey, shit happens for a reason, right? Like, I do appreciate everybody that's clicking on this. Because I know YouTube doesn't like cannabis videos and educational cannabis videos and shit. But I do see that there's a fucking large community. There's a lot of people, a lot of <coughs> of age people that want to just watch, you know, like smoking videos, educational cannabis videos type shit, you know. And I'm just like, dude, YouTube should just have its own little, like, section for that shit, bro, you know. It's like I don't even monetize these videos. If you guys see ads, uh, okay, I'm telling you guys this right now. If you guys see ads on these videos, it's literally fucking YouTube putting videos and shit. Because first of all, <coughs> I'm not even fucking partnered. I mean, by the time you guys are watching this, I don't think I'm ever going to get this channel partnered, honestly. I'm definitely going to be giving away a lot, too. Like, <coughs> I can't really do, like, fucking weed giveaways and shit. I can't be, like, packing, you know, shipping shit, you know, to places where, like, it might not even be, like, <clears throat> 100. It's legal, but it's, like, you can't, like, fucking receive it through the mail type shit, you know. Like, on some Canada shit, it's, like, that legal shit. Here in Cali, it's that legal, legal, like... It's getting to the point where you just... Dude, you could fucking just smoke a blunt in a smoking area in some places, you know? People got bitch because they be smoking cigarettes, <sighs> a bunch of tobacco products. That shit fucking kills you, dude. Straight up. It literally has a fat ass label that says this shit's going to give you cancer. And it fucking stinks because you're fucking smoking like cardboard and shit, you know. No offense to everybody that smokes cigarettes if you guys do your thing. Do what you got to do, but I'm telling you right now, that is a bad, ha bad fucking habit, you know. And if you guys switch over to vaping and all that vaping, shit, quit that shit, bro. That shit's also bad for you too, bro. And this cartridge, probably bad for us too. So I do not recommend any type of smoking. But again, this is for an educational purpose, you know. My personal review on this shit. <clears throat> but hey, real shit though. Everybody that's watching this, man. You guys are first gen, second gen. It don't matter, man. Everybody, look, check this out. We all gotta go through a fucking struggle, like... It doesn't matter if it's like the struggle's red, if the struggle's blue, if the str <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. If the, if the struggle's a triangle, a square, then <coughs> 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 fucking lit. That made no sense. That's the path, you know, like for your life and shit. Especially if you're trying to grind, you guys trying to come up, be successful, and all that shit. <coughs> There's going to be a shitload of obstacles. So when something's happening to you in your life, that's part of it. You know, that's an obstacle you got to face and shit to get to where you want to be and shit. But damn it, I have like these crazy ass like fucking ideas and everything that I want to say on camera. Every time I say it, I'm just like, what the fuck? By the way, follow me on Instagram. I am Crunchy or go down in my description and go uh, <clears throat> check out all my social media. I got Twitter, Snapchat, all that stuff. I'm going to try to convince you guys to just chase your fucking dreams. Chase, taste, fuck it. Taste your passion, fuck it. Chase your passion, you know, because in reality, if you guys have a talent, either if it's fucking drawing, you know, fucking writing, a, you're good at writing stories, you're good at like painting, you're good, you're good at something, god damn, here I am, not knowing how to fucking explain myself, but it's like, if you guys have a passion or a talent or a hobby you guys are really fucking good at, man, pursue that shit, man, because I'm telling you guys right now, bro, you, nowadays, bro, it's the new, this is, we're in 2000, about to be 2020, Anything is fucking possible. You could monetize absolutely everything. Bro, <laughs> fucking, what's that kid's name? Fucking Ryan something tube or something. The little kid that reviews fucking toys for YouTube. 
Dude, if he could do that and earn like fucking close to 100, I swear, he got like f over 50 million dollars a year, bro, in income or more. Maybe like 40 to 50 that a million after taxes because if he got close to 100,000, they'll probably take like half that shit or even more. <clears throat> Holy shit, dude. Just from reviewing toys. So if this kid could review toys and become make his parents fucking multi like millions of dollars, then you guys could fucking monetize everything, bro. It's like YouTube, bro. YouTube is like the perfect way to just show off your personality, show off you know your talents and shit. There's a lot of people that go take pictures of cars. They go, they like you know fix cars or all that shit. There's car channels, shoes too. Actually, I know David got kicks on in person, and he has like a, he's he's like a sneakerhead, you know. He fucking he reviews sneakers, he paints sneakers, <clears throat> he customizes sneakers and shit like that. And he's pretty funny. He's a funny guy. This dude fucking. Uh, made YouTube videos and then he fucking all of a sudden from just showing off shoes at him making shoes and all this shit like customizing shoes and shit painting them all that bullshit he got into an eBay commercial true story by the way and I mean that shit's just I was like what the fuck I was like bro YouTube is like a fucking stepping stone to like this shit bro crazy like I'm trying to do that bro because I know everybody does not want to live that nine to five like fuck that shit you know but if you guys do, I mean, obviously, if you guys make, like, a couple, you know, small, like, six figures and shit, and you guys have, like, a, a good job with, like, good benefits and all this other bullshit, then I understand, you know? Nine to five is for you, but, it's, it's, you know, you worked hard, you got to where you wanted to be and shit, and that's what's up, you know? Respect, honestly. But... <clears throat> then there's other people like me, bro. I just fucking hate. I just don't like that nine to five shit. And it's not that I'm lazy, you know? It's just that I really don't, like, I just find it so trying to upgrade myself trying to upgrade this 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 brand you feel me so shit y'all <clears throat> just a crazy ass video i don't even know how fuck i was like oh shit we're reviewing this shit shit tastes great to give you guys a good taste it's kind of like piney honestly a little piney fuck yeah this should taste good tastes like like the weed Cosmic Sativa. It was everybody. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like, a comment, subscribe. I'm about to drop more videos and shit, you know, get into fucking, get deep with this shit. <coughs> like always, everybody, if you guys did enjoy, hit that subscribe button if you guys are brand new. And click that bell so you guys get notified every time we upload. I am fucking lit. Yep, I'm fucking blasted. Oof.